Hey everybody, happy holidays. The Poets here. It's Christmas night and I wanted to kind of talk about giving back. There are many different ways you can volunteer and give back and help others. Uh, this one in particular is extremely easy and I love it. Uh, there's a group called Folding at Home. There's many different types of kind of world community grid or um, CPU donating power uh, organizations. This one in particular has been around for a very long time and I recently started to thoroughly get involved with it because I really like some of the community that has involved themselves with it. There's a lot of different teams that are kind of competing to get um, more work units uh, than the other teams. And so it's like healthy competition where everybody wins. Uh, this folding at home, uh, the web address, I'll, I'll put a description you know, in the link below, uh, but it's just foldingathome.org and they have a lot of different diseases that they are really working on to try to find cures for, um, from like breast cancer, kidney cancer, uh, Ebola virus, uh, even like Alzheimer's and like Parkinson's. So there's a very long list that your computer will be able to help to contribute uh, to find a cure for. Um, my computer right now, uh, this is an AMD system uh, that I custom built water cooled, so I can kind of handle a bit more processing power and it dissipates a lot of the heat. So I have it set to about half of my cores. Um, so I have uh, 32 cores, so 16 cores are being dedicated just to folding at home. It's always cranking out 24 seven. And uh, I also have a video card in here and you can select, do you want to use your video card? Do you want to use some of your CPU power? Do you want to use a combination of both? Um, so it's very flexible how you want to utilize your computer to contribute to finding cures. Um, one thing that I really like about this is that you can also put it to like a light mode or medium mode or just full blast and uh, you'll see how many points per day uh, you're uh, contributing to this wonderful, wonderful cause. Now the Folding at Home website has a lot of information out there, so the TLDR of it is this. Folding at Home project is dedicated to understanding protein folding, the diseases that result from protein misfolding and aggregation, and novel computational ways to develop new drugs in general. Uh, so what that basically means is they are utilizing everybody's computer processing power uh, to analyze these protein modules so that they can find what makes them tick and what is causing them to misbehave. Uh, if we can find that, then we can find a cure, which is kind of nice for multiple, multiple things. Um, and so this is put into many different papers all the time, so you can read up on how they've utilized your computer power uh, to better understand a lot of these protein folding uh, mishaps that are happening now. Uh, so it's a nice way to give back. It's a holiday time. Honestly, with as much wattage as this bumps up with your computer usage, it's not gonna be much on your electric bill, and it is a nice way to just kind of give back. So I enjoy this. Um, I kind of like at the end of the day to see how many points per day I've generated. It shows you right there. And uh, I'll even put some uh, screenshots here and there in my video so you can see what it looks like. Now, as I said, the Folding at Home website is it's fairly robust, has a lot of information. So one paragraph that really jumped out at me is uh, their explanation of what happens if proteins don't fold correctly. Uh, so what it says here is diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, uh, Huntington's disease, cystic fibrosis, um, and even many cancers are believed to result from protein misfolding. Uh, when proteins misfold, they can clump together uh, or aggregate. These clumps can often gather in the brain uh, where they are believed to cause the symptoms of mad cow or Alzheimer's disease. Uh, so my computer specifically, I do have it set up so that it's basically a drop down. You can pick what um, kind of a ailment or disease you want more of your system resources to go to to help with this research. Uh, for me, uh, I have had family members in the past that have passed away uh, that have had Alzheimer's. So that's the one I selected. And, um, you know, so I'm happy to know that my CPU, when it's just sitting here collecting dust idling, um, is working hard to help to find a cure for a lot of these diseases. Uh, so even though I have it set for Alzheimer's, doesn't mean every single project is going to just be Alzheimer's. It's going to help with whatever comes up, uh, but it's going to lean toward, hey, 
uh, the Poets' PC says he wants some Alzheimer's one, so they're gonna like kind of shoot it over to me when it's available. Uh, so it's, it's a nice way to get back. It is the holiday season, uh, and if your computer's just kind of sitting there not doing squat while you're uh, watching TV, Netflix and chill, whatever it may be, uh, this is a nice, nice way to know that you're contributing to uh, the, the health and well-being of others, uh, possible bright futures. So, I'm the Poets again, signing off. Happy holidays. Peace. See you in the next one. What do actors do so they can talk? <laughs> oh, and this shirt was a Christmas gift to myself. Uh, if you get the joke, put it in the comments below. Peace.